Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another Ouya video. Uh, excuse me. That's the whiskey. Uh, so that means it should be fun to play. Um, excuse me. Today, let's play Enemy of the Solid State. Solid State Loading. Okay, so this is, I just did one of these games. Uh, knowing that, so is this, yeah, Binto Smile. So these guys did kind of story choice games similar to dating sims and what well, I call them dating sims, they're not really. But also did uh, Life of a Pacifist, I believe. It's cold. The December snow hits me in the face like a thousand icy daggers. I'm waiting for my contact and feel my fingertips growing numb as the cold penetrates my gloves. I grumble to myself. I should have gone somewhere better than Poland to buy supplies. Stupid Poland. Or Poundland. Excuse me. Poundland. As I mourn my fingers, pondering that I should have gone to M&S instead, I am interrupted. I hear it will rain on Tuesday. Yes, but they will still make me eat the duranium fruit outside. Are you pink cat? That would make me pink pussy, yes. And you have a button that has a pink cat on your sleeve. What kind of spy bullshit is that? Yes, I am pink cat. How did you ever guess? Giant symbol on my chest? It is I, Isabella. Guten Tag. I have stuff. Be careful with the information. This will be destroyed at the Bartanian government, of course. Here. She passes me an envelope. I nonchalantly take a peek inside. W what is this? What do you think? I, I don't know. It is a floppy disk. What? A floppy disk. The secret data is on a floppy disk, apparently. Apparently these guys have a Tandy uh, 100. Or what was that Tandy I had as a kid? Oh, was it Tandy 1000? I can't remember. Uh, it couldn't check. I couldn't check it myself. I don't know how to decode it. Mainly, she doesn't have a computer with a floppy disk in it. And it's to be said, I don't think there's been a computer with a damn floppy disk in over 20, fuck that, 30 years, probably. I remember in the 90s, you had to buy a special box just for the X. Couldn't you have put the data on a USB key instead? Um, what is this USB you speak of? This is all I could get. Great. I waited ages for this information, and it's on an absolute, ab, obsolete storage format. Might as well be on a... Oh, what was... Ooh, damn it. I spilled beer everywhere. Oh, what a waste. Anyways, I was about to say, what about those old floppy Max disks? You had to, zip drives. Might as well have been a zip drive. Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn it. I put... I, uh, my, I'm drunk and I pushed the touchpad, so it skipped all that. But remember, they are all citizens of Bernina, so technically, they are your enemies. You should be nice to them. They don't care about helping strangers. Right. My apologize for skipping a dialogue. I didn't mean to. I was drunk. So, who would you like me to introduce you to? Oh, God. So, this is completely... Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Close my eyes, dream of someone with a nice rack, and push button. Who did I choose? I don't even know who I choose. Who did I choose? Looks like a love hotel. I took the subway to a hotel in the corner of town. I asked the front desk to let me up to Scarletta's room. I'm starting to like this choice. I th it sounds like she's in the shower. Oh, maybe I did make the right choice. Scarletta Rosetta. Oh, hello. Isabella told me about you, honey. Oh, really? Mm hmm. So, what's your name? <laughs> she obviously didn't tell her that much. Blue Dog. And I want to bury my bone. <laughs> Alright. People call me Blue Dog. Oh, really? I hope your bite is worse than your bark. What can I do for you? 
Why don't you sit next to me and tell me? Um... Stand and sulk, sit next to her, perch. I lean against the dresser instead. Oh, why don't you come a little closer? You know, despite what people say, I'm a good girl, really. Just drawn badly. You surprised? Why wouldn't I be good? You seem good to me. You're too beautiful. Quit the act! You're too beautiful. You're too beautiful to worry about being good. Hee <laughs> hee. I suppose that's true, honey. What can I do for you? I have this problem. It, I, it only happens when I'm too drunk and when I'm really nervous. It, it, it happens too fast and... Oh, wait a minute. Wrong problem. Oh? I'm good with problems. I hand her the envelope. Hmm. I have the finest... I have the faintest idea. It's a floppy disk. They used to use them in computers. Oh, computers. They're not really my thing. Hmm. I have some friends, though, who like old things. Just say the word and I can introduce you. Professor Huffington, Jack Gluckson, or Joan Black. This time I didn't choose blindly. I walked through the empty corridors of the college. It was late, and the only light in the whole building was in one professor's office. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I knock on the door? Come in, come in, come in. Guten Tag. Oh, hey there. Uh, what can I do for you, boy? Well, I'd like to enroll. You sure have lots of books. Do you know anything about computers? No. Only that they're beastly things. I prefer a good book. You, you know where are good old-fashioned books. Until you lose your page. So, what this... Why did you decide to come to me, of all people? I heard you had a good library. Uh, I'm here about the... Yes, yes, my lad. One of the best. All down to the highest quality of tuition, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. I check my watch and notice that it's getting very late. Ho oh, ho, is it getting late? I'm meeting someone online soon. So, pa, online. Whatever happened to talking to people face and face? In my day, you had to walk down the street if you wanted to harass someone in public. You couldn't just call them a troll in public. You couldn't just use racist slurs. You had to do it face to face. Knowing this privacy stuff. <laughs> Any excuse get away quickly. Ho ho, well, I have a class to teach early tomorrow. Wait, I have a question for you. You can ask me tomorrow if you feel like you would enjoy a lecture on, co on a crop rotation. So, did I fail? I leave the Cumbria Old College, find myself yearning on good old modern technology. Welcome back, cutie. Just say the word and I'll introduce you. Um, Jonah Black? What's with the pink? I was chauffeured to a large estate out beside a town. I was told it was necessary in order to be let through the gate. It was true, the doorman eyed me suspiciously. Yes, you have a pink cat on your collar. I would do that too. A woman appeared at the top of the staircase in the center of the entrance hall. What's with all these old people? Uh, hello, darling. Hello. Uh, shake her hand, kiss her hand, kiss her hand. I bow down and kiss her hand. Good evening, Masmerwell. Oh my, what a gentleman. You're much younger than I expected. I'm surprised. Oh man, don't tell me she's a... How old are you? Uh, God, I wish I was still that old, young. I'm 25. Oh ho, I thought you were younger. Oh, <laughs> she's disappointed? <laughs> Pedophile. A youngster like you. You look like you need a woman with experience. <laughs> hey, I'm up for it at this point. Yeah. Uh, flirt with her. Act shy. Politely refuse. Act shy. I try my hardest to look shy. Ho oh, oh, ho, you're such a timid little thing. I feel emasculated. 
Sorry, darling, I have no time to help you today. Why not? You're big enough to stand on your own two feet, which means you're really not my type. So what, you like infants, or...? <laughs> Alright, so I'm back to you again. Can I just have sex with you at this point? Is there anyone left? Yeah, Jim Gloxton. He's in the jungle? I uh, took a cab, dropped me off outside the wonky looking warehouse. Weird sounds are coming from, let me grab my beer. Sweaty, humid air. It smells like sex. That's good. Kaboom! Headshot. What the? Dunka dunka. Ah uh ha -huh. He dove behind the furniture. I tried to follow him, but I lost sight of him. What a total. Badu badu boo boo! Hack. Ping blam blam. <laughs> Kablam! Haha, -ha, good game, sir. Well, that was fun. Sure, you got a reason for being here, though? Oh, uh, yes, actually, I was wondering if you'd help me with this. I passed to him the disc. Oh, yeah, 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 we have some things back here in the day. Uh, we used to use them all the time. I don't suppose you have any old, uh, gear which I could read this. Hmm, nah, I don't know, don't think so. Um, too simple for this stuff. We always left the computers to the guys at the back of the base. Hmm, I see. For some reason, I doubt his claims of being in the army. Any chance you still see any of those guys from the base? Yeah, of course. Uh, reporting for duty. Uh, Yong Chan Wendell Eisney. I was told to wait in the hotel room. What's with all these CD places? Patiently, I sat waiting. A knock on the door, or a call from the front desk. Then I heard a tap on the balcony. Door? I slid it open. Nice goggles. I saw something amazing on the floor above. What? A Great Dane, a jar jam, and some rubber gloves. <laughs> this bastard has been on my balcony. How dare he? Uh, I don't want to know. What? I, I don't want to know. Hmm. A little father up. Frozen pizza, napties, monkey on a bicycle. Bizarre. Uh-huh. And then, finally, I went to the top. I saw... A telephone pole, a string sausage, and a box of kittens. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. You seem like an honorable person. Could you do something for me? Uh, the envelope. How did you know? He tapped on the goggles and passed the envelope into this. One moment. He dispensed up the sides of the building. He looked up and watched him crawl through. After half an hour or so, he was back with my balcony. He passed me some... Here you go. Thanks. I didn't know you were like that. I like you. Uh, thanks, I, I think. What does he mean, like that? I thanked him and he leave the hotel room with the secret data. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not doing anything. What's happening? Oh, there we go. Although I succeeded with my work, I called Isabella and arranged a meeting. We meet in the same place, same time, but a different day. What would be odd if you met on the same day? Why, well, yes. Yes, I did, but... <laughs> It's an old picture of me during my D&D's day. What on earth is this? Oh my. So that what was on the desk. I... This isn't the president of Artiga. Of course not. Now hand me the prints and the disc. Err... Uh, fine. You've been very helpful, Mr. Pink Cat. Yeah. So, some other time. Wait. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. There was something else on the disc. 
<laughs> Shock. H how did you get that photo? Do you think you're the only one with contacts? What, what do you want? Good question. I want you. Alright. Do you want to get some coffee or something? Sure. <laughs> I know that's probably the wrong answer. But love is as good as any. We ran away and traveled the world together. We both had enough money hidden away that we could steal from each other, ditch the other, and then track each other down. <laughs> oh, but I can tell you that she loves me as she returns after each time I empty her bank account. <laughs> oh, God, that was confusing. So, the end. So, actually, I noticed that on a there's a couple of those games, especially by, uh, what is that, Bento Time? Uh, beneath, but it's a Japanese lunch. As I spill beer again, God, I'm spilling too much of my uh, cider and uh, fireball. Mm. Back to what I was saying, though. There are a lot of those fun story games of, on Ouya now. It seems to be a, especially when you have this indie free not for, well, yeah, indie free market that you can develop games on. You tend to get those fun, intriguing storytelling games. Oh, I'm rambling with beer spilt all over me. God, I better not go driving for many reasons. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling on again. Uh, thanks again for watching. See you next time.